Hey, where we last left off, I was entering the Courage to Pluck Shrine. Not quite sure how they come up with these names, but, uh, you do you, Nintendo. Wait, is that a translation? The Jochiu, Jochi EU Shrine Courage to Pluck? I wonder if that's Japanese for anything, Jochi EU. All right, courage the plug. I mean, this, this, shrine, this shrine is gonna be a piece of cake. What, what's this here? Uh, nothing? Okay. Oh, dude, I know exactly what to do here. Oh, chest? Free chest. That's free. I'm doing the Tears of the Kingdom elevator. I'm just gonna bring this thing around here, suck it up to me, and rewind time so that it goes all the way over there, and then I can climb on this thing, and I can get this shrine. Oh, look at it. Look how sneaky I am. They didn't think I'd do this. They never thought. They never saw this coming. Oh shoot, they saw it coming, they saw that coming, oh they saw it coming. Alright, I guess I'll do this legit. Oh will I? Oh, you thought I would do it legit? No! No, we don't do things that way here. No, we just catch their balls and they fall to the ground, they fall into that endless world. Where would that ball even spawn next time? Would that ball respawn? If it fell down that pit? I think it would just drop it all. Would I have to jump down there? I don't even know, whatever. I'm gonna have to jump on this thing, open this chest, and... oh! 30. Wait, that's the best boy I have. Nice. All right, we got 30 right there. Awesome. That's that's good. That's a, that's the strongest ball I got. When I leave this shrine, I get back on that horse I found, and oh, I, sadly I can't keep this horse. But I see this dude. And I'm like, hey, wait a second. Aren't people not allowed to be back here? What what are you doing back here? So I start talking to him, and then all of a sudden, he was supposed to be back here. It's because he does. He's an assassin. My first time with a Yugi in this clan. And, uh, Yugi in this game and blast him and take his banana because they always drop bananas for some reason. Their obsession with bananas is... I don't understand that. Why would, you could be obsessed with a lot of things, but why would you think, oh yeah, you know what I really like more than anything else? Bananas and that that foul sign stopped me in my tracks. You know, but, uh, I go back here, try and pet the dog. The, the dog, the, Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild, for, for real. You didn't let us pet horses. I mean, uh, well, well, not pet horses. You didn't let us pet dogs, and you still, you still didn't let us pet games, uh, dogs and tears of the kingdom. What's up here? What, what's wrong with you? Come on. It's the only thing we wanted. It's the only thing we wanted. They added it and entered the gungeon. Why didn't they add it in this game? And oh, great, here we go again with Addison. And his. What's up with this guy holding these signs? I, we have taught this guy that you can hold these up so much better, and I failed the first time. Sorry about that, but uh, I just thought that would work. It looked like it would work. And don't think I tried again. I don't. I staple a little thing to the bottom and try to hold it up. I have to shake it off because that's just not going to work. And I put two pillars on to hold it up. And it works surprisingly well. Uh, just didn't move at all. Because I knew that once I put that first thing on there, that was going to fall over again. But I put two supporting beams and claim that 20 rupee, that juicy 20 that this guy's always given me. Honestly, this guy has been funding my trip through Hyrule himself, so I can't can't dislike Addison too much. But thank you for all the food, Addison, and all the rupees, you know. But dude, you can definitely hold a sign. When I saw that red dragon flying through the air, I really wanted to claim the horn on the top of his head for potions or for uh, mostly for upgrades. And I think here is when I actually am able to reach him. I was afraid that the fire that spawns near him was going to hit me, but it didn't. Take, take a quick screenshot. Take a quick horn. Dan Ross horn. Looks like it, you can make a pretty sick weapon out of it. Plus 26 attack power. That's that's serious. That's I think that's more than a lot of the weapons I'm carrying just in and of itself, and you can add it. Failed opportunity there with the crack on the back. You know, that's a classic Zelda thing. It's funny that uh, you walk up to this thing and then the Yiga attack you because they took over uh, Robbie's thing and I was like, oh, no problem. I got to take on this Yiga and I forgot I don't have my paraglider so I can't jump on that wind. It was, I actually worried in this part I was going to die for the first time. You know, I, I hadn't died up until this point. I thought, oh, man, I'm, I'm screwed. What am I going to do? These guys, they take away all my health in one shot. The only reason I didn't die here is because I had enough food to survive his hits. And if you don't know... The yellow hearts prevent instant kills, well, other than falls. If you have yellow hearts in, in Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild, you can't be one-shot by any enemy. It, it prevents one-shots. So, I, I don't know how much damage it did there, but I stopped the one-shots from that dude. 
Saving before entering a new place. I mean, come on, every gamer does that. Don't don't look at me like that. Every gamer does that. We we all we all save before entering some new place in case something something happens. And I was very excited for that Yiga outfit right there. I think you can once you, once you get all three pieces. I mean, you probably uh, are able to disguise yourself as a Yiga and get out of somewhere. So I'm gonna rewind here because I have to I have to read this book to you. It was it made me laugh. So let me let me do that. It's also not far from Terror Town, which is back to be flowing so and I ruins parts. Suffice to say, I think it'll be a suitable part for procuring our stuff. Though we haven't yet received any word from Zelda, there are many reports from this or swordsman links, and and his days are numbered though, and he survives the division. And bears to say I found one that so. Dude, how did I read this so fast the first time? This is great. I'm doing this again! <coughs> We've now taken over the Sheikah lab and filled out the map with the location of some blah 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 Suffice it to say, I think both of these locations will be suitable for procuring supplies and intel. Though we haven't yet received any word of Zelda, there are many reported sightings of her swordsman, Link. His days are numbered, though, as the surface division is setting up a network of their terrifying banana traps. I'm embarrassed to say I've fallen for one myself. Tempting though it may be, try not to pick up any bananas off, off the road. Bro, can someone explain to me why doing that was harder than, like, the reading FCAT? Uh, that was- uh, why was reading that journal so difficult? The first time I read it, I was- I was going so fast in, like, in my mind that it- I breezed right through that thing, and I'm trying to do a script here, and- and then I just fumble it over and over and over. This is so unbelievable! I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to get to the top of this, uh, tower here, because I figured- Aw, oh, you know what? There's definitely a car I got here. And they were smarter than that. They did not put a Korok in the same place that they... You know what? That's interesting. I wonder if they put any Koroks in the same exact place as they did in Breath of the Wild. Because, well, there was 900 of those things in Breath of the Wild. So, you know, they have to be in somewhere in similar places, right? They didn't go through the, the entirety of those two games and think, Oh, you know what? We're, we're not going to... We're gonna put them all in very different in different spots. I mean, th let's let's be honest. These, this map is huge, but did they really find a new 900 location? I mean, I don't know how many are in this game to begin with, but I'm assuming it's 900 like the last one. Is there more? There can't be more, right? I mean, anyways, I take your pony here and find a Korok. Wow, you know what? It probably wasn't a similar. It's they're probably in similar locations. I mean, there's not infinite spots on this map. Final Korok, and I think I jump, I think I try and slide off here, uh, because I see a Great Fetty's Fountain, ooh, upgrade time, armor upgrade time, time to upgrade all of my armor, yes, with all the parts I've procured and in intel I've, I've been being supplied from the Haten, from Hateno, you know, this is the thing, I knew Hateno was near here, um, because it's, it's right off the ridge, it's right off the, it's right off the, this, this mountainside, from Hateno and you know this part made me so sad because I thought oh you know what this thing is an Endura carrot wait I have Endura carrot so I checked my inventory and I thought oh dude you know what I did I cooked all those things I didn't think I'd need them foolish foolish William the Zelophan why did you cook all your Endura carrots now you have to leave like an idiot and not have up any armor upgrades you found a ferret fountain and yet you can't even use it because you cooked all your Endura carrots you don't even deserve to ride Ebona right? Get off Ebona! Get off! Get off Ebona! I ride through the- I ride through down here and I notice- Yo! Stone Talus! That's some free ores! Give me those gems, boy! And I fall on the, the back side of him and I thought, oh crap, I'm screwed. Luckily, um... Luckily I uh, was able to place that shot well. Well enough to uh, stun him and break him down, but uh, that bomb I shot at him 
Wasn't that kind of surprising that it didn't it didn't um stun him? It, usually it's supposed to blow off the side of his arm, but I think it has something to do with the rain. You blow up the talus and it doesn't work, but I mean an explosion should still explode even if it's raining. I understand fire not being able to be used while in while it's raining, but an explosion? Dude, I blew that guy up and he's still standing there. I failed to find Hateno in this video. Um, which I was searching for forever because that's where all those mushroom people come from. You know, see those, that guy who gave me that, uh, thing? Dresses a mushroom? He has, like, a mushroom- some mushroom clothes on? Yeah. I mean, wh what's that all about? Take out the wizard up here with the ice thing and- And then I cut to the outro! Ah! Well, 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 viewer. Looks like we meet here again. At my outro. Computer, why are you making that sound? I'm not clicking anything in the background. I'm not trying to see a script or nothing. Why are you making that sound? It's very suspicious of you. It's very suspicious like the Yuga clan. Like those people walking around where they're not supposed to be there. They're actually supposed to be there because they're just assassins. I'd be like, oh, to make that sound. Try to call me out in my YouTube video. I'm not going to edit that out. You're going to edit that out. No. We are going to edit We're keeping this it. We are Don't keeping this in the video. People will never this Oh, now it. my phone's ringing. Ring, oh, we, ring, oh, we might I have to cut it. Oh, phone. you know what? Ring, Just ring, take the outro. Take the classic I outro. Phone. Thank you for watching my video. If you like what you saw, like the video, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, and comment your favorite part down below. Peace off. That you um you had you 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 could you do you you want. Officer, I got one question for you. What are those? You want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want.